All right, so let's go and take a look. Now, this one usually gets a little bit confusing for students because now we have transformations, right? But again, guys, if you can just remember, hey, x squared, okay, I know the parent graph. Parent graph looks like this. V graph looks like this, right? Yes. And then we just got to understand what are, what's going on. What are these transformations? So here, you can see that that's shifting right one. Same graph, just got moved over right one. And then here, it's being reflected and it's being shifted right one. Right? And then you got to look at the constraints, though. The constraints is we're only going to graph this graph for x is greater than 1. So there's 1. There's 1. So values that are greater than 1 are going to be from there to there. It's greater than, not greater than, or equal to. So you're going to use a whole. And you erase the rest of it. Over here, it's all values that are x is less than or equal to 1. So we go at 1, say we're only going to graph stuff that's this way. So we erase the rest. Now, we see that we're going to put them both on top. A lot of times it's easier to put the whole first because, guys, if you have a graph with a whole, if it's included for this one but it's not included for that, that's fine. As long It's included for at least one of them, right? So you put the included point on the other one, and you have a graph that looks something like that, OK? Now, let's go and evaluate for f of hmm, 0, f of 1, and let's do f of 2. Hmm. 